Hey everybody, it's Mark Ruggiero here, Clark Commando, 1983, and it's May 25th, and it's 1.30 in the morning, and I'm just, if you like this, by the way, like and subscribe to my channel, please. I don't know, I guess I'm going to make this a ramble, just for a, you know, because, you know, honestly, I'm starting to feel a little bit better, covering for my infection. I got no chemo till June, uh, June 12th. Still got some challenges going on, but this is how I deal with when I'm up. I get online and make videos for you guys and my enjoyment too, to be honest with you. I am wearing this cool winter offensive MMP shirt that some of the guys sent me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love it. Um, what do I want to talk about? I'm not going to talk about my World in Flames map that I'm never going to get to. At least not anytime soon. Just because, what can I say? I've said it on other videos. Um, I do have the magnets. And if I could ever get the energy up, I got a, uh, maybe GMT's Vietnam will go up here. Maybe... Barbarossa Army Group Center, Army Group South. I don't know. I got a few games I could magnetize for long-term play. Just got to get the energy. I am excited. Thanks to Scott Sennelmeyer in Maine, I got this and the game. So that may be a video I do up next. I've got uh, Victory Games open fire sitting in the wings too i've got more squad leader i just did a video on the longest day compass games i got a couple of their titles i'd love to get on the table victory games fleet series oh my goodness it's just a decision games advanced dto Met a guy who's pretty local in Stockton in the big monster games. I don't know if Mike, if you watch the channel, but he's recovering from some stuff and we're talking about trying to get together and maybe play some SBI War in the East or something. I don't know. I got OCS games staring me in the face. I've got, I was supposed to play, um, my Axis Empire four-player game this Sunday. But unfortunately, one of the guys has COVID and with my compromised immune system, and he's, you know, got COVID, I can't expose myself. So they, uh, I'm, hopefully he'll be well soon and we've rescheduled for June 2nd. Um, oh my goodness, I got so many things. Remember Gordon from Phoenix Games, Victory in Europe from Omega Games. Um, then I still got to figure out what the hell I'm going to sell. I got to sell some more. I don't want to. I think I'm going to have to, I dug through my stuff and I got a copy of The Longest Day, which uh, actually I actually have two copies. So I think I'm going to. I have a really nice done punch copy. I think I might offer up and keep my punch copy. Speaking of stuff that I might play for the channel, I just did a walk down memory lane with the longest day. And I just might play a scenario. I wish I could play the campaign, but I gotta be honest. I don't know that I have the stamina to solitaire it. I might be able to get one of my buddies to play it with me. I don't know. Get some uh, old school tactical. I want to get that on the board. God, I got such a huge list of uh, bucket list games. I got to tell you. Oh, from Legion Games. I need to do an unboxing. I just got the Malta game. Huh? From Vance Von Boris, one of my favorite designers. Ted Rasir, another great designer. Looking at the Dark Valley, the Dark Summer. I got a few of his games. Um, my pre-orders. I got some games on pre-orders that I'm seriously consider canceling. 
just because of the way the cancer is going, but haven't done it yet. So not yet. Keep hope alive, right? Um, I'm looking at my collection. I got bitter woods. I'd like to get on the table. Oh my goodness. I just realized I have two SPI Tito's and actually I want to get that on the table. I hear it's, it's a bad rap, but, uh, I think that could be an interesting game. Next up for my videos that I'm going to do, I think it's, you know, hey, it's two in the morning, but I might set up squad leader, the tactic works, read the rules for that. Start that. I don't know how far I want to go with that or how much time I want to spend with it. But uh, uh, it's Memorial Day weekend. Let's make sure we remember those who paid the ultimate sacrifice for our freedoms. I'm a vet, but let's remember that this weekend is for them. The guys that never came home and the ladies. You know, um... It's, yeah, it's a shame. I got, oh man, what do I got? I got Storm of Steel down here. What the hell is this? Oh, that's a chart for Avalanche Press Panzer Grenadier. I've got, what is this for? This is my blown up, oh, World at War map. Yep, GMT World at War. One of my favorite games. I got my Death Ride games. Salerno, you guys all know I'm a big fan of Grognard Sims uh, Death Ride games. I've got over here, I'm looking at another game I haven't gotten on the table yet that's just freaking beautiful from operational study groups. This is the Road to the Kremlin. I, you know, would love to get that on the table. Got GMT Specific War. Man, I wish you guys, you know, I got a lot of face-to-face -face opponents. It's just a lot of it's my limitations. Because of my damn cancer keeps interfering with my game time. And at least I do have some solitary time and I got time to make these videos. And yet, this is turning a definite ramble. Um, let's see, what can I show you guys? I wanted to, you know what, I love... Uh, my goodness, the Library of Battle games from OSG. Have you tried those? Those are amazing. And the graphics, I know some people don't like the, uh, the, um, oh, what do you call it? The um, combat system, but I love it. I don't play the alternate stuff. Grognard Sims, uh, newest, this is their newest game from. Not the Death Ride system, but the uh, Armored Knight system. Pretty cool system, I think. And uh, to Chris Fazulo, the designer's credit, he did some pretty big changes. It used to be like super duper math heavy. And I don't think it's as math heavy anymore. I think I did a, in fact, I know I did an unboxing of this because I bought it when I was in Tempe and the map sure is green. Um, it's got, it's pretty nice. Don't want to do a, let's see here. Is this the whole rule book here? I don't know if it is. I think it is. Anyways, you get this nice, cool rule book. It's already spiraled down for you. It looks like it's about 20 pages or so. It's a battalion level, I believe, game. Let me look. I mean, I love Death Ride, and I have these uh, Armored Knight games, but I haven't really messed with them that much. I got all his games, by the way. Well, not all. I'm missing one or two, but... Um, I really am a big fan. Let's see. Does he have... The game system simulates operational level combat for the German 1940 German offensive across the Meuse River at Sedan. You will need to combine a solid combined arms approach to give your forces the best chance for success. Scale. 
So it's battalions. Some units are half battalions. Air units are approximately 12 aircraft each, and each hex is 1,000 meters. Each turn is about four hours. And I'm not turning this into an unboxing. I'm just a huge fan of anybody that's got passion, right, for their stuff. And Chris Fazulo over at Grognardson definitely has passion. And I just love his stuff. And cancer allowing, I'll be at Thompson Expo to play a big multiplayer game in Death Ride Normandy. Um, just in case, OSG, Library of Napoleonic Battles. I've got them all, except for the coming storm. And I don't know if I have the last success anymore. I may have sold that. But uh, you know what? These maps, I got to tell you, the rule book is only... If you haven't played these, I call it the bumper car system, which I really like. Some people don't, but that's okay, right? Uh, let's see, is there page numbers in the rule book? There is. So it looks like the rule book's about 20 pages. It's a pretty big font, you know, a lot of illustrations. So thing that's interesting with these games in my mind that I love is you know the rule book's pretty short but the the uh there's a lot in there actually and the maps are just gorgeous just unbelievably gorgeous and it's Kevin Zucker come on he's Mr. Napoleon right in my mind I, I love his stuff got all his studies I haven't read them but I got them God, I tell you, it sucks having cancer. Let me tell you, folks. It really does. Of course, you knew that. Uh, what else? I got GMTs. Uh, I want to get to GMT. Let me show you this. Oh, my goodness. This thing weighs a ton. Skies above Britain. I just love these things. Great design by Jerry White, Gina Willis, Battle of Britain. I've got the uh, Storm Over the Right. And I got, I want to get to, I got all of the VUCA Sim games. Still, this one's still in the shrink. I played Bismarck. That was a lot of fun. Really enjoyed that. I got some La Bataille. Got my my little custom ASL dice tower. I guess I could use that for squad leader, huh? But man, I love my geek supplies. I really do. I love this hobby. Of course, you guys know that. And ladies. But man, it's tough. Let me tell you. Um, what am I going to do tonight? I think I'm going to hell with it. I'm going to do... Uh, at least set up the tractor works, bust out the troops for that. Maybe listen to some of my Audible. Got a lot of books on Audible. Who am I kidding? I got a lot of books everywhere. I wish I could read. I need to read more. Um, get some lab to tie. I don't know, you know, just so you guys, ladies, know. I'm not doing these videos just because for the hell of it. I do them because I love you. I love doing them. I have fun and uh, trying to have as much fun as I can before this shit kills me. So, anyways, what else? Air assault on Crete, Avalon Hill. I guess I really need to make my mind up, don't I? Really, at least I still have choices, right? I can put a lot of good positive spin on stuff. This weekend, I'll be listing some stuff for sale over in the marketplace. I'm going to try to spend a little time to clear this 4x8 table up so I can actually fill it all up with a big old game. I don't know what yet. I did bust out. My other copy of The Longest Day, and in case I really get crazy and want to 
play the first scenario of the Avalon Hill Longest Day. I don't know if that will happen, but... Well, anyways, we're at 15 minutes. It's probably almost 2 in the morning. I'm going to shut this off, throw on some Audible. Start, get the bust out the units for the tractor works, read the rules. Maybe I'll do a replay before I crash. <clears throat> Maybe I'll go read. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do. Anyways, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys soon, huh? I love everybody. And God dang it, my giveaway's coming. I know I keep bringing that up, but I got to do that. I promise to it. Man, we've hit. Been, uh, I'm just remiss. I got been over a thousand subscribers now for a little bit. So, anyways, love you all. Take care of yourself. Be well and play a game, please. Thank you. Bye.